I dislocated my shoulder, so... And I think it's good experiencing what a patient would feel like. My arm is still a bit yellow because they sterilized it with that. Ouch, that hurts. <laughs> Hello everyone, um, it's uh, JJ. I'm currently in the hospital. I just got shoulder surgery. It's post-op day four and I could be discharged today. I dislocated my shoulder, so I came to get an MRI and then the MRI said I had a torn labrum. So I came to the hospital and the surgeon said I have to get it fixed surgically. So that's why I'm here. They made three holes in my shoulder. The first hole is to see the shoulder itself. And the two holes are for the equipment to suture, cut up and all that. And I have a shoulder sling. Sorry about that. So the PA just came and he helped me uh, do the dressing changes and he took out the surgical sutures and now he's added some like, surgery strip which prevents your scars from falling apart. So he added plenty of that. And he also said that my inflammatory markers, CRP specifically was pretty low so I can take out my IV and I don't need to take any more IV antibiotics. I can just be on oral pain medications and I'll probably be in this sling for about six weeks, which is gonna be pretty burdensome because I have to fly in a few weeks and I also have some clerkships that I have left to do. So it's gonna be a bit of a burden, but we'll have to get through it. But on the bright side, there's no one in my hospital room. So they came and left my breakfast there because no one's there at like six or 7 a.m. So now I have to eat that and get some pain meds in. This is what the hospital food kind of looks like in Korea. The announcement just said employees gather up in the first floor area for a morning meeting. I uh, just went and saw the doctor to review the MRI that I did after the shoulder surgery and the orthopedic surgeon said that the surgery went great. They repaired the labrum so that it doesn't fall out again. So everything's good. They've even taken out the IV, so I'm good to go. I just need to pack up and get ready to go home. And the funny thing is I was in this exact same hospital with the same exact surgery about three months ago. At that time, I got it on my right shoulder. So I had the exact same sling, exact same procedure on my right shoulder. And after that surgery, I was using my left arm a lot because my right arm was recovering. And that's when the left arm dislocated. And it's because I have really flexible ligaments. So I dislocate really easily on both sides. So that's why I had to get the second surgery exactly three months after my first surgery. So it's been a pretty hectic year, but I'm glad that I got this procedure done with before starting um, intern year because intern year is going to be super tough and I'll be in a place where I don't have any family members. So I won't get that kind of support that I have here. And I think it's good experience 
experiencing what a patient would feel like being in the hospital and all. You know, being hooked on IV fluids is not very comfortable. It's hard to wash and use your one hand to do everything. It's also irritating, so there's that. And uh, being in the hospital sucks. It's boring, there's nothing much to do. So I'll take that into account when I start working as a doctor. So yeah, I'm applying to uh, physical medicine and rehab, which has to do a lot with rehab. And I'll be getting a lot of rehab this year with my right shoulder and my left shoulder. It's gonna suck a bit because, you know, I have to be careful with things like deadlift and bench and things like that. So I have to figure out like a new routine to, you know, keep me in shape and new exercises that doesn't hurt me. So that's gonna be a struggle, but it'll work out. And yeah, I'm glad everything went well. It's I've had two surgeries, but it wasn't that complicated. And after a day, I think there wasn't much pain. It's just a lot of stiffness. I can't move my arm. So I'd say that things went pretty well. So I just need to be careful and need to do some proper rehab. arm is still a bit yellow because they sterilized it with that ouch that hurts Enjoy? oh hey yeah. okay okay i'm done Here, I'll, uh, I'll put this back, I'll submit this, and then I'll tell yeah. the nurses that I'm done. Yep. Put it on hey, you can change the ice pack now. Okay. Where's the other ice? There's this here. Yeah. This is the right shoulder. <laughs> oh. Underneath the arm first? Yeah. This one is uh, oh. like... Right turn around. Yeah. Yeah. I got my patient band out and the nurse gave me some regular pain meds in case I have some, you know, some pain. Just some regular acetaminophen and things like that. How much was the surgery in total? 290,000? 290,000? 290,000? Okay, so like about like $2,600 uh, for shoulder surgery and I've stayed in the hospital for about like four days and I've had one MRI, so with general anesthesia, so I think that's not too bad. Hopefully I'll get to use this shoulder uh, for a very long time. So, yep. good luck to those who get surgery and uh, yeah, take care.